Hello, in this video I am going to use buffer draw commands to draw some shapes and there we also have some advantage of using those commands. So I am going to use this. So those commands are present inside this arcade module. So at first let us create some window and inside that window we can able to draw some shapes. So let us have this screen width and screen height so we are providing the width and the height of this window and let us have this title for the window so let the width be 800 units and the height as 400 and the title for this window let us name it as new window so that is the title so I'm going to use this class again new window and which is going to have this main class so this is this acting as subclass and this is the main class and we need to provide some values to this main class so i need to get i need to deliver these all values to this main class so at first let us have some constructor for this new window class and here we need to provide these three things let us have these three so having the same name and after that as i've said i need to send these three values to this main class so i need to use this super and this super is going to deliver these values to this main class and after that i can set some background for this window so let us set background color for this window so this arcade is having this color and i'm going to use this again and after that i'm going to use this on draw so all the drawing operation is going to happen inside this function and make sure this name must be same and so here let us have this start render and let us also have this variable which is going to call this class and here we need to provide these all values and we need to run this arcade module so we got this window and in this window we are going to draw some shapes by the help of this buffer draw commands and before that let us have this statement so let us check this arcade so here I have talked about this draw commands and now let us also talk about this buffer draw commands so at first let us have this this draw commands so these are all the draw commands so you see here all these are functions so these are all the functions and you see uh, we don't have any type of return value from all these functions and now let us talk about this buffer draw commands So these are all the buffer draw commands and you see every time these functions are going to return some value like this and you see here we have this return value and another thing we can see here this is this draw commands are very slow and this buffer draw commands are very fast. 
and because of that we have this I think we might have this return value so we can use this return value to draw some shapes and we can keep all the shapes into inside a single list and we can use this function to draw all the elements which are present inside this single list and that can't be applied to this draw commands because this draw commands is not returning any value so that we can save these shapes inside some type of list and after storing that we can use this draw commands and that doesn't happen to this draw commands but it happens at this buffer draw commands and we can actually use this function to draw all the elements present inside a single list. So let's have, so let us draw some shapes from this buffer draw commands and let us have this create ellipse and you see here every time we have this draw at this draw commands and but in this in this buffer draw commands we have this create at this first place and so let us draw some shapes and let us have so as I said earlier we can store all these values these written values inside a single list and let us have that let us have some list so this is buffer something buffer draw commands so this will be list and so this is the list so when I'm going to click so I'm going to do that afterwards otherwise let us have this self dot this list and let us provide some values to inside this list so we have this function right so let us have this arcade dot So yeah, we need to provide this and after that we need to provide or we need to follow this syntax and so it is saying that we need to provide this center x and center y coordinate. So let's provide this center x and y coordinate. So, so we know that we have this window. So in this window we can actually draw any type of shape so my intention is that I need to draw some shape at this middle portion so like this which is covering this entire width and entire height of this window so so because of that we need to set or we need to provide some coordinate at this center point so this will be this coordinate will be screen width by 2 and this height will be screen height by 2 so so syntax for this coordinate system is that we need to provide this x coordinate first and we have this screen width by 2 at the x coordinate and after that we need to provide this y coordinate so this is screen height by 2 so this is the center point for this shape so we have to provide that so first is screen width by 2 and screen height by 2 and you can see here we ha we are depending on these variables if this variable does change this shape also does change its value and after that we need to provide this width and height so let this be maximum width and also let let this be maximum height and after that we need to provide some color we can provide this tuple so you can provide this arcade dot color dot red otherwise you can provide some some tuple and here we have to provide RGB so at first we need to provide maximum value for R and minimum value for 0 and for so this is for green and this is for blue R is high so red is so we are going to get this red color 
and after that we need to provide this border width and this tilt angle and number of segment so let us check so you know this is present inside this list and let us have this for loop for x in this list and let us draw so you see here this is going to return so this is going to return this value that means this value is present inside this index so this is index 0 so we have that and because of that return value we can actually call this function but in this draw commands we don't have any type of return value so let us check this and you see here we have this shape and you see here we don't have a circle we have some segments so let's increase these segments otherwise let us decrease that segment so let this segment be equal to 4 and let us check that so you see here we have this segment 4 and if you are increasing this to something like 10 let us change check that so we have this so this is how the segments are going to increase and this default value is this 32 integer and we also have this field and this is also a default one so let us change this field to false and let's check so we have this so this is behaving as some type of outline so we go we are going to get this outline or border or we can say it as some perimeter for this shape so let this be default so this is how you can provide these all values and we can also rotate this if you are providing some 0 to 360 range value right here and you can actually rot ro you can rotate that value rotate this shape and so this is present after this color and this border width so it is present after this color and let us make this as 90 degree so we have this shape so let us have these two lines so you know this is we can say this angle as 0 or we can say it as 360 degree and for this 90 and we are saying this angle as 180 degree and for this it is 270 so it is going to rotate in this way and so it is going to rotate from this point so whatever we have in this point it is going to shift towards this 90 and this 90 things are going towards this 180 degree and so we are going to rotate that so let us check for negative value so we got the same so this is for this create ellipse and let us check for this this shape and let us have that somewhere here so this arcade is having this thing and let us have this so center x and center y after that we have this width same thing and color and after that we have so here we have this border width but here we don't have that because you know this is going to be filled with color it is not going to deliver some border so but in here we have to decide whether it is filled or not and 
So after color we have to provide this tilt angle and number of segment is 128. So here number of segment is 32 and here it is 128. So we know these two are defaults. Let that be default and we need to provide this x y. So let us have this again. So we have provided this x, y width and height and after that we need to provide color and after color we don't need these things and let's check. So let this be, let this width be screen width by 2 and this height as by 2 and let's check. So let us change this color to something else so this is for R means red and you can place here green and so we got this green so you see a number of segment is 128 so number of segment is 128 so we have that segment so this is for this create ellipse and so we have this too. So we can actually call this function. So all this drawing happens inside this thing. And if you remove this all thing, we are not going to get this shape. And so since we have this, we can actually draw all these return values, which is present inside this list, and we can draw that shape and so let this be a single list and now let us have some condition like we know we have this window and when I'm going to click on this window we are going to get some shapes so that happens only when I am going to click in on this window so this shape can be this one or it can be this one so I have to use some type of random values random module so this shape when I'm going to click on that window this shape is going to be present at any of the coordinates so we need to talk about this random module and let us make this as a comment and let's import this random module and I'm going to use this let us have this variable I'm going to use this this random integer so let us have so this 0 is the starting one and this one is the stopping one so we are going to get random numbers from 0 to 1 it can be 0 or 1 that has to be decided by this function so we don't know actually what the value is between this 0 and 1 let us print this variable so at first we have this one so instead of that let us have some for loop let us have some 20 events or 20 attempts and let us print or let us have this variable right here and after that let us print this variable so we got some so these are 20 times and we have some random values like 1 or 0 we can't even predict what is the what value we are going to get at future so I'm going to use this random integer So, so this happens only when I'm going to click on this window. So I'm going to use this on mouse press. So when I'm going to press on this mouse, this function is going to call and this function is going to deliver this X and Y coordinate and some button and 
some modifiers and let us print this x and y so you know this is going to call when i'm going to click so i'm going to click i have clicked here so i got that coordinate x and y so i'm not going to use this x and y these shapes can be present anywhere in this window when i'm going to press so and we also need to provide these all values so for center x and center y this will be random that randint and this will be starting from 0 to screen width so anywhere from the range from 0 so this is 0 and this is screen width maximum screen width so this shape is going to be present somewhere in between this range so I have provided this starting 0 and this is the stopping one for so this is going to store inside this variable and for this we need to start from 0 to maximum height so this is for the center x and y and for width and height so so this is for width and height so let us have this again so coming to width this can be starting from 100 to 200 otherwise let this, let, let this be 50 and this as some 100 and same thing for this height of the shape and so that is for width and height and for color so let us make this color to random value so we have to provide some red green blue and this is for transparent so we can provide either 4 or only you can provide this RGB so let us have this 4 so we let us provide these 4 values so this is for red green blue and transparent so this will be having this so this is going to start from 0 to 255 so if this is starting from 1 it has to be 256 but it has to start from 0 to 255 and let us have this for again for 3 times so we have these four and we also have these many and let us or let us have some color so you know this is going to be color dot otherwise let us keep it this way and after that we need to provide this so these are all the defaults so let it be default and so let the width be default and let us change this angle so see a changing angle so this will be let us have this again so 0 to it will be going to stop at 360 degree and this is for this angle and let us also have this number of segment so number of segment and this will be starting from yeah let this be starting from 4 to something like 32 so we have we have these all things and let us have some let us choose some shape so see us for choose the shape and let us have this again so we have this 0 or 1 you know this is going to select either 0 or 1 and if we have this CS equal to 0 we need to create this shape and if this CS is equal to 1 I need to create this shape and we need to provide all these values 
So let us have this shape. You know, this arcade is having this shape and here we need to provide this values and after that we need to provide this width and height and after that we need to provide this color so you know we need to provide this tuple and we have to place this all values at here and so this is for color and after that we need to provide this border let this be default and let us make this tilt angle so we have this changing angle and we have this number of segment so we have this number of segment so this will be equal to this ns and so this is for number of segment so let us make this field to false so that we are going to get only the perimeter or some type of border so this field is going to be false and let us make this as false for this shape and so we have this and so we have provided all these values and let us also have some variable so you know this all things are going to provide going to return some value let us store that in some variable so let us create some variable initially it is going to have a value none and but here this is having this value if this condition is if this condition is going to happen and otherwise this variable is going to have let us have this again and after that let us have this shape right here and here again we need to provide this x y width and height and after color we have to provide this tilt angle so after color we have this and after that we need to provide this number of segment so we don't have this in this function so let us remove this and you know we already have this list and we need to append so we have this buffer list so let us append this variable and after that so we already have this all things so this is going to draw all these necessary shapes and let us check so let me click somewhere on this window so I got this shape which is which is a outline not filled so this happens because you see here I have made this field to false so let me click again so this is happens so to understand it better let us print this CS and let us check this value so I'm going to click here so you see here we have this CS is equal to 1 so because of that so we are going to get this thing and we have this and let me click again so you see here I got this 0 so because of that we have this outline so let us make this as true and let's check this again so you see here when I'm going to click at 0 so this happens or this statement happens only when this condition is 0 and you see here now we have this shape filled with some color so this happens because I have provided this value to true and let us make this as 
false again and let us check again this result so you see I got this zero and you see now I am going to get some border for this shape so we got this random images and you see all these images are coming at this range so which is having a width 0 to maximum width of the window and we have the range between 0 to maximum height so all the shapes is going to be present inside this so let us remove this transparent so still we have variable but here I, I haven't provided any transparent and let us check this so you see now we are going to get this shapes and you see all this are having no transparent so this is how you can use this random to get this type of images and if suppose let's remove this center x and y and instead of that let us place this coordinates so where I'm going to click we are going to have this center so this variable is going to store that center x and y coordinate so let us check so I'm going to click here so you see I got this shape right here and when I'm going to click here again so I got this outline so both of the, both of them are outlines so we have this variable equal to 0 and so you can see here this variable is 1 so that is for this field and so when we have this one we are going to fill with some color and same thing happens for so where, where I'm going to click right that will be the acting as some type of center point and if needed you can also print this x and y coordinate so let's check so this is the center so this is x and y coordinate so when I'm going, going to click here so this is having this 2 and 3 and we got this shape at this point so this is how you can use this random to create any type of shape you want and you can provide this type of condition or your required conditions to make this happen and so I think that's it for this video and see you again bye bye